Hey, welcome back. In John chapter 9, John chapter 9, um, Jesus healed a blind man. You know, he and his disciples were walking by and they saw this blind man. And the, per, um, the disciples asked, they were wondering if the man was a sinner or his parents was a sinner that made him blind. <clears throat> we tend to want to have a find a correlation between sin and uh, setbacks in people's life. There's no correlation. Jesus responded in answer. They told them that uh, it was neither none of uh, uh, the parent nor the man that was a sinner, but that the work of God might be made manifest. He went on to spit on the, uh, the soil and made a clay anointed the eyes of the man, asked him to wash by the pool of Siloam. The man became healed, and the, the moment he came back, the neighbor was third. Is this not this man, same man that was blind? They wondered, and he said, I am the Pharisee. Out of curiosity, they took him to the Pharisees. The Pharisees now be began to uh, find, uh, make interrogations. How did you become healed? Who healed you? He said, Jesus. He said, Jesus? Because the Pharisees never believed in Jesus. And they wanted to know, was he really blind? Are you really sure you're blind? The man said, I'm blind. I was blind, but now I can see. And then they, they, they sought, they got hold of the parents. The parents came and they asked him, is this your son? He said, yes, of course. Uh, we, we know that he was, we, we, we had him, he was born blind. And we don't know where he got this uh, healing from. And he said, they told the Pharisees, ask him, he's of age, he can answer the questions by himself. You know, because they knew, they feared the Jews. If you read that particular verse, they feared the Jews because anyone that uh, attested to Jesus as Christ will be cast out. The man went back and told them, listen, I was born blind, I told you. I have, you have asked me, you have told you times with that number. He told them, do you want to be disciples even if I answer this question? And they became furious because they said, the, Jesus was a sinner. How could you even heal? Listen, what I found out is regardless of how many times you try to convince certain people, you, don't, you, do, you do not have to convince certain people, you know, um, I'm, I'm not talking about, you know, there are, there are positive criticism where, you know, someone genuinely wants to know, but at most times you find out that the ones that are just out there to tear down any good thing that you may have done, regardless of whatever you do, they are going to tear it down. Eventually, they cast the man out because the man began to testify. He said, can any, can any, can any sinner do this thing? That God only hears his own. That if this man is not a man of God, how could he have healed a man that was born blind? So, what I, my admon, I, I want to admonish you this morning is that whatever you do, know that no matter the good that you do, that there will be uh, negative criticism and do not be dismayed. Also, I also know that setbacks are, is part of human existence and sometimes may not have a correlation with sin. I hope you've learned something this morning. I'll catch you in the next one. God bless you.